Good morning, folks. As we watch a family of solar tornadoes crest onto the Earth-facing disk, know that today's top stories are star water and earthquakes. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com and check out the last 24 hours on our star. Very quiet. Minor pop at the bright sun spot, which lost his buddies yesterday and is all alone once again. It's not just the northeastern limb. With filament activity, we're seeing thin plasma ropes across most of our star at the moment. Solar wind took yet another intensification overnight to over 500 kilometers per second, and it drove another instability event in Earth's magnetosphere, but still no storms. The solar wind is coming from the departed coronal holes, meaning this one on the south still has to hit us with its stream. Of course, the openings have triggered an extended earthquake watch, and we've added to the totals, reaching now seven magnitude 6 earthquakes in only five days, all while we officially broke last year's record magnitude 7 drought the record plus one day starts now. Volcano Islands of Japan, too, had a number of aftershocks, and I have linked an article arguing that that's the most dangerous volcano on Earth. Tsunami potential could kill millions. Meanwhile, it's the mountains a bit closer to Japan actually on alert. This one will set an evacuation the moment they see emissions begin. Also have Sabankaya in Peru launching an ash plume two kilometers into the sky. Looking to the tropics, that system is on a slow approach to Hawaii. Eyes on that one into next week. The strongest storm on Earth right now is in that West Pacific region as a powerful Earth spot with a gorgeous display of Whistler lines around the outside. Those are penumbral Earth spot lines, just like around a sunspot. Top articles today are for new viewers because every veteran observer knows our 2013 Star Water series. I didn't think it would take this long to find the water signatures around brand new forming stars. Better late than never, I suppose. And this early star activity being ubiquitous is why one-third of all exoplanets in excess of Earth's size have tons of water, as much as 50% of the planet as water. It is indeed the contention of the Star Water series that Earth is not special, water is everywhere, it's made in stars and at the planetary boundaries where hydrogen smacks oxygen in the electric sheet layers of the upper atmosphere, almost every last word of the 2013 Star Water series is now confirmed. Folks, everyone who registers for the conference by this weekend is entered to win a signed, first print-off-the-press version of our textbook. If you already pre-ordered, we will get you a refund. Winner will be chosen from those who sign up for the conference before Monday. Website members, we've got details on the current earthquake uptick and Grand Solar Minimum. Much more as well on your Fly on the Wall podcast coming up in just a few hours. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.35 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.